Oh, yeah. And me. I'd love to stay. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see if we find, we find our way to refuge. Right. Everybody but Ben thought we were going to that little refuge there. But Ben knew they were going way up there. So we're wondering why we're on this side of the road, uh, the valley. Uh, it's quite clear because that's where this road goes. And then we are heading for the right hand side of that mountain there into that kind of shallow call. And I think that's where the best trail in the world begins. So this is a, a GR5 trail. A well recognised route. Ben saying it goes from Belgium to Nice. Which is quite a long way. And I like the idea, but possibly not the reality, of cycling the Geneva to Nice part. And riding multiple days on amazing trails just like this I'll need to work on my fitness and endurance before then but it'd be something different I wouldn't mind trying oh it's quicksand <laughs> not, qu <laughs> not quick enough and it is open so we should get a coffee and uh, Coca Cola. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Looks like we're getting more than beverages. Well, I wasn't expecting food. Hmm. That's good. I just want you just your face is brilliant. It's just brilliant. <laughs> it's, it's the best face I've ever seen. <laughs> and the smiliest face. <laughs> and and James. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Chris took the hit again. He's uh, cycled a long, long way to catch up with us. Just me, I think. How was that? Pretty painful. <laughs> Trying to spare battery. Yeah. Oh. Did you need it? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, 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 but that was a nice, uh, nice welcome relief to get some food and some coffee. Fuel for the day. We obviously stopped not that long ago for some food and that omelette went straight through me. Uh, I'm a bit behind the group now. And I am a minus a sock. <laughs> uh, did not see that coming. The rain has come in very quickly and uh, the rest of the guys are away. I do not want to be up in the hill, so it's just me and James. Best trail in the world, even best, in the wet. Best trail in the world, it fucking better be. <laughs> <laughs> so no drone, I did bring it. But I'm not putting up in the rain. So this will be a bit more like Scotland. Hopefully when we get to the woods, it will be uh, grippy. Oh, unavoidable. So Ben reckons this is the best trail in the world because it changes character three or four times. So this is definitely the rockier, high mountain, almost a lunar scape kind of scenes. Oh, with nice wee wall rides. Oh, nice. Oh, some miserable walkers. Does it go? Yeah, not gonna lie, guys, I don't feel great after 
than what I think was that omelette. I hope I can get to the bottom. Well, I hope I just feel better. Well, if I am going to be ill, I can get to the bottom first. Ooh. Oh, nice. Lake. Double lake. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Loose. Very loose. Yeah. Does that make, do you prefer no one in the pit or? I prefer someone in. Okay. I'm not feeling great to be honest, so. Okay. Uh, I'll probably drop back. Right. I'm totally gonna pace myself. If I have to drop back, I have to drop back, but. I'm feeling okay when I'm riding my bike, but if I exert myself too much, when I stop, it just gets so bad. So. Steady, steady away. Whew. So, looks like we've gotten a little more technical, slower speed. There. Yeah, I can, I can do the trail like this. If I start to get my mojo back, I'll build the speed. But oh, this will do it just now. Traditional shepherds up here with the mountain dogs. Yeah, it does. It, it gives it more of a feel. I thought I seen a dog. Yeah, you wee fuckers. Hello, you okay? No, the older one was gonna fucking eat you. So the whole idea with these dogs is they're actually to protect the sheep. So they are actually fairly placid. They don't like people in bikes, apparently. If you're walking, they're okay, but they don't really identify you as human if you're on a bike. Fair play. So the dogs were doing their job there to protect the sheep. From wolves, I should say, traditionally. Oh, well, that's not wide. Straight off. This is like the third kind of character this trail is trail is taken. That's fast, single track. Oh, 
and then straight back to the tech. Nice. Quite spicy. There's the refuge. Wow, straight into the gully. It's such a nice design. Amazing. It's so nice, yeah. And we have avoided the rain so far. Perfect. So. We're done. so we're not even a third of the way. Wow. That's good. Looks a bit tough straight off of here. Not too bad. More intimidating to look at. Yep, that one was both. <laughs> Having a stop. Yeah. And I don't mind this exposure because it's got handrail. Oh wow. So quite clearly the trail has changed dramatically once again. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Brutal. Wow. Yes. Woo. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus. Oh, Matt, how are you doing? Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm just going to walk down here. <laughs> Taking no chances. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Nothing like the start. We're getting all the terrains, all the geographies, topographies. Oh my God. <laughs> We 
still got 800 meters to go. Bubbles. Oh. Oh, we're still high. Still very high. Just in a wee traverse to get the rest of the good bits. It happened. We avoided it every day <laughs> until now. Bugger. It's definitely wet. It's definitely wet. It's not an illusion. That's a trail? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Apparently it turns into very lovely loam. Okay. Squeaky. Oh, that's the other drop in there. Right, brakes are going to be noisy for a bit. That's that classic SRAM noise. Quietest brakes in the world until it's moist. Right, so this might not necessarily be the trail. <laughs> ben says he's going to be in all manner of ways down at this point because there's so many trails and it's hard to remember. Oh, it's loamy though. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with the top. And I'm pleased to say I'm feeling a lot better now. So. I'm not going to push things a bit of time, but uh, not feeling sick is always good. Half loam, half slip. Oh, that was a slip. Jesus Christ. That was scary. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Those rocks are slippy. Oh, so are these. <laughs> yeah, I mean this all looks pretty straightforward but trust me the mossy rocks underneath are super slick Oh man, I've got zero confidence. Having an absolute mind melt. Usually I build my confidence through the day. But the first descents were not comfortable. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Speak soon, Art. Yes, you too. Right. Uh, have you got the keys for the flat or anything, silly? No, I'm in the van. Okay. Have fun. See you in a bit, guys. Oh. Right, me and Chris are boosting on. Chris has got to get a train back home pretty soon. Oh. So I'm going to drop them off and come back for the rest of them. Chris has done a shitload for us this week, especially <laughs> lumping e bikes up and down and helping with a shuttling on the e bike. Top look. Oh, 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 oh. I fucked it. Oh, man. Steep mountains with harsh winters. Whoa. Oh. She's seen better days. Oh, 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 Wow. You're right then. You're okay, yeah. I think so. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Sod's law, eh? right at the end. So there you have it. That is us done in the Alps. A few fantastic days. And I think they should make for some excellent videos. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Uh, and I do hope to get back out this way sometime soon. Funds don't always allow, but yeah, yeah, this has whetted the appetite somewhat. Yeah, I'm gonna drop Chris off and then get packing to go home. Thanks for watching. Ciao.